I'm here with Paulo Costa, top 10 uh, middleweight. He's a good up, friend of mine. What's up, brother? It's a or, pleasure to be here, of course. Yes, you, you're my big friend here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Paulo, you know, obviously not from America, so learning English, but doing great. Yes, yes. I think, Still learning. Yeah, I think it was, what's funny is when you started on Twitter, you barely spoke English, and you still had one of the best Twitters. It's like, if this guy is, like, killing people with, with no English, that was probably what was so funny, I guess, too, because you would have the words all wrong, but it was just absolutely brilliant. Oh, thank you. I think the broken mm. English is part of the funny stuff, you know? So, yeah, if my English was perfect, I think it would, it would be not so... Not, not so cool. funny? That's, that's yeah. partially true. That's partially true. <laughs> but, you're, yeah, you're just killing it on Twitter. So yeah. Everyone follow him. What's your Twitter handle? Huh? What's your, what's your Twitter, ha Twitter handle so people can follow you at home? Yeah, yeah. You know, um, I do uh, the, all the stuff over there in Twitter. And, uh, yeah, the, so, sometimes some, some people ask me, Paulo, please never learn how to speak perfect <laughs> English. <laughs> Still there, you know, and uh, some other guys say, uh, you, you are you were uh, funnier when your English was worse. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, it's all fun. But like, oh, I need to stop speaking English so good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's improved so much. So good good job on that because <laughs> le le learning yeah. language is hard. Before okay, your English yeah. was so bad like, yeah. a couple years ago. Now it's getting so good. Exactly. If I can understand, uh, mm. like, a, you know, in the Jiu-Jitsu class like we have today, mm -hmm. you, by the way, thanks for, for that. For inviting mm -hmm. me there, you was uh, teaching uh, at class, uh, Jiu Jitsu class uh, this morning. I was there training. I learned some very good things. But uh, if I can understand uh, what you say, what you know, the techniques, and uh, if I can ask for food mm -hmm. in a restaurant, I'm, f I'm cool with that. Yeah, you're, yeah, you're good now. <laughs> you can go you can with the girls and be like, you're beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. This, this, this you, like, you don't have to say much. You know, <laughs> the love language is universal. Mm -hmm. It's easy. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah the right. easy part. Yeah. You yeah. don't need to talk too much either. Yeah. Well, I mean, for you, I don't think it's too difficult. <laughs> the secret juice you have. The secret juice. The secret juice helps. That a was lot. the. I, I said I was having Paulo on my uh, show, and the number one question everyone wanted to say, and I wanted to know as well what is in the secret juice? Ah, uh, of course, pretty much secret, but I, there's, there, there is lemon, mm -hmm. there is uh, ginger. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, healthy stuff. Are you gonna bring me some after the show? Bring me some tomorrow, or you're not sharing to you, anymore? To you, to you, yeah, you deserve. You pretty much deserve, but I don't have any over here. But maybe, maybe we can we can um, produce. Perfect, produce perfect. Something. Yeah, because if yeah. I can, if I find the the, the exact uh, ingredients, we can we can make this. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah people that don't know, you know, a lot of my, my, my a lot of my followers are in political and stuff. So that yeah, Google Google Paulo Costa, the, the crazy oh, craziest, yeah. insane, insane, just freakish body. And the UFC has like the most stringent steroid testing, so everyone's yeah. always like, "What are you doing? Yeah, like, like how are you so jacked if you're not on steroids?" So it's like secret, right now, secret I, juice, I, I guess I'm a little bit fat, you know. But mm. yeah, uh, because right after the, my 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 um, most recent fight, I just take a break. I just mm -hmm. talk. Yeah, this sometimes morning, you just a break. Yeah, refresh yeah. is important. You know, I, I was doing uh, two training camps in a row, no breaks, but. Yeah, I took some breaks, so I got a little fat, but no, it's no problem. Um, I'm not. I I, I didn't uh, very restrict. Re I did have um, and even now a very restrictive uh, diet. Mm -hmm. I eat everything, but I avoid sugar. I avoid um, yeah, bad things like a saturated fat too much. But I eat very yeah. well, you know. So yeah, a lot of it is a really good diet. In special here in Las Vegas, we have many good mm -hmm. restaurants. Restaurants. I love uh, Asian food, you know. Oh, it's so much good Asian food down in uh, Chinatown. Vietnamese, Korean oh, yeah. barbecue. I love it down there. Oh, we'll eat all you can <laughs> eat. So, mm -hmm. you know, every, every time that I go there, yeah, if, uh, I eat a lot. But, yeah, uh, you ask about the... the, oh, the, 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 yeah, the oh, yeah. I'll, I'll just switch up to how often do you lift weights? Because you're just like, do you lift weights all the time or are you just naturally jacked? I'm, I'm a kind of natural... Uh, Real, really, really uh, in real, uh, I, I start to lift in weight very young. Mm -hmm. Like my my, bo my 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 father, uh, he do he made some uh, concrete weights in my home. Mm -hmm. He put some, you know, I don't know. He he make a concrete uh, weight like a uh, altars and say, hey son, lift these like twen ten times, uh, three sets, and uh, yeah, I I think pretty much generics, but this very young training helps, helps some, too, some, yeah. yeah. Uh, because w when I went to school, mm -hmm. like a 10, 11, 
I realized I was a little bit stronger than the, other the, kids. the other kids. And they 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 look at me and ask, hey, why, why you your bike is different or you look different? I say, ah, oh, I don't know. But I know what was I think yeah. was about my father. Wait, yeah, it's, well, it's, that and some genetics. Some people are just naturally. Yeah. That's why you can't. Some people are like, oh, they have to be on steroids. But some people just have freakish genetics. Yes. Right now I'm pretty pretty heavy, like a two two twenty six is pretty mm. much. So that's for, a big for, big weight cut down to one eighty five. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. So I plan to fight in January. So I need to start right now. Mm. Like we we did today yeah, yeah. was great. After that I I work out, but I I used to work out. Uh, lift weighting weights or do polymer uh, how you say polymer po uh, plyometrics yes yeah that I, I can I can I can yeah no, hey your, in, your English <laughs> is pretty good <laughs> that's a, that's a tough word but I I need to do every day like uh, mm -hmm. every day but not weekends yeah. but every day of uh in the week like we Monday Friday yeah when you're in fight camp you usually train like twice a day or what do you do Try twice, pretty much twice. Uh, sometimes I feel so tired, so I go once, but pretty much twice. Mm -hmm. I, I tried. You do like one, like sparring, grappling, and then like lifting and stuff later, or what's your like split? Yeah, I split. Uh, I think I do everyday striking, mm -hmm. and uh, like four or five days of grappling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How often do you spar? Helps a lot. Uh, uh, how, how much do you spar? Like? Oh, tw twice, twice okay. a week. So yeah. that's, that's pretty standard now. Yeah, yeah, pretty standard. Yeah, when I was coming up, people were usually going like three times a week, but I think twice makes more sense. Le less head trauma. Yeah, yeah. It depends on how hard you're sparring and stuff it too. It depends how hard you go. Yeah. Uh, I have trained different ways. I have tried different ways um, to train. You know, it's hard to decide or or to say oh this is better than this it's more to adapt you know i, I agree i've always tried different things you know and I some, sometimes when you're training too much is actually worse because there was one period i was training like three times a day and my body was falling apart on me so it's like you got to go two and sometimes the second one even sometimes in the second one go light when your body is falling apart because yeah, if you're pushing exactly. two really hard ones a day you do that a couple of days you're gonna start falling apart exactly unless exactly. you have secret juice <laughs> <laughs> no bro even yeah. i feel i feel the same like a mm -hmm. Especially when I do a lot grappling, uh, I feel like more tender and tired. Yeah, grappling makes you more fatigued than striking. Yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Especially the wrestling part. Oh yeah, taking downs. Mm -hmm. That's why I was showing those trips today. They're a lot more, uh, a lot less effort. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it, th that would be very uh, helpful. You don't have to like pick them up and slam them. You just do a little trip and they fall. Amazing, amazing. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remember these. I'm gonna practicing that one yeah no you're like you're like the fastest learner too like you know whatever a few times you work you just pick up stuff right away you're so athletic so oh, the first time i grapple you i'm like wow yeah, this guy's a good you know it's a striker but like oh you're a good grappler too <laughs> you're great you're great teacher yeah. too you're great teacher as well yeah you, you're my guy you remember we were the first time you worked out yeah at, at the fcpi yeah well, yeah it's a great story you want, yeah yeah, go on, yeah tell that us. was amazing yeah and uh the shimaev uh, go match your chain uh team the kamaya what's the name kamaya uh What's the guy's name? Uh, I, uh, how's not the guy that was talking shit? Oh yeah, somebody there. Uh, he's Brazilian. No, no, the uh, the Russian guy tried to fight you. The Chechen guy. Another one. Wasn't the the Chechen tried fighting you at UFCPI? What's his name? Uh, yeah, Chen Chen Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chimaev, yeah, yeah. There it is. Oh, that was his name. Yeah. Yeah, Chimaev. Yeah, uh, yes, he was there. You are, you are, mm. you were with me over there. I was a broken hand yet, but. The guy, he always stands on by my side the whole time. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember. We are ready to. You know, I'm, if the no, girl I, I, starts. I'm, I'm, loyal, I'm loyal to my friends. You know, everyone knows that from the D's brother to hang out with. I'm loyal because it was uh there was like ten of them and just me and you. And it was like yes. I'm not gonna like. Honestly, it was our first time training, but I came there with you to meet you, and it's like, all right, I gotta back you up. I liked you. I'm like, I'm not gonna let ten guys try to bully you, but it was kind of fake anyways because Chimaya waited over there in the corner for the he waited for the video cameras to come in, and then he runs over and is like, let's fight, let's fight. And, and then you're like, okay, whatever. Yeah. I, he go, after your fight, he goes, no, let's fight right now. And you're like, I think that's when I walked over and opened the cage. I'm like, all right. And he just stayed outside he pretending, stayed, pretending yeah. like they're holding him back. If he wanted to fight you, he would have ran in. Yeah. It was, it was all of, for show. Yeah. yeah. He's got behind the cage, right? Be behind mm -hmm. the, be yeah, behind, behind the, the, um, the, uh, yeah, the cage. He didn't get Yeah, get he, he, and he could have he could have walked in and fought you he right away. Instead, he waited, he waited for guys to pull him back. They had like yeah. 10 of them. I'm like, 
well, we might get beat up because it's 10 fighters, but I'm not going to like, I'm going to go down fighting with you, though. I'm not a coward, you know? I believe in you go down with your boys. Exactly. And it was just me and and, Mm -hmm. and you. And you stood there, you say, yeah. I I, I look to you, I remember, I look to Mm -hmm. you, I say, yes, I think uh, I pretty much know uh, if we need to, to, Mm -hmm. to... to get him brought here, Jack will be here, and let's go. Two yeah. of them against yeah, exactly. them of, of the <laughs> go match and chain team. They they will not can uh, handle first. But from that day that I start to, to call him go match and chain because that mm-hmm. because he he didn't nothing you know he just wait for for his camera crew come yeah. Yeah, <laughs> no, story. Exactly. He was waiting there and then he waited for the camera crew. Then he's like, I'm going to fight you right now. I'm going to fight you right now. It's like, you could have just came in and fought him before the camera crew and the people there to hold him back. I noticed that too. I'm like, that's a little weird. Yes. Uh, it was very weird. Yeah. yeah. But we know, we know when the guy's mm-hmm. is just faking, like you say. I think he's a, he's a bully. He's a great fighter, but he likes to bully people. Oh, yeah. And you're not a guy that he can just bully around. He, he's, Come on. He, I'm he, the bully. <laughs> yeah. He, I, I will not be bullied by. By him, you know. Um, and you guys are supposed to fight. What happened? That fight fell through. I did a surgery ah, that's on right. my on my elbow right there. I did actually I did twice. Yes, I did one. They open this, they clean mm-hmm. everything. I got bacteria. Um, the name is staph. Oh yeah, staph's really bad. Yeah, it's really bad. Really bad so, infection. Yeah, unfortunately, but you know, I think everything happens for for a reason. I was prepared. I was. Uh, I keep in the fight until the doctor say, "Okay, you cannot." I remember that. Now you got pulled off the staff last minute. I remember. Yeah, I did the first the first surgery uh, thirty days before the fight. You were gonna, you were gonna still try to fight? I asked. Damn. Yeah, keep me keep me on keep me on the fight, and uh, because uh, in three weeks mm-hmm. he would remove the the stitches. Yeah. So I can I can fight. It's still fight. It's not appropriate. Yeah. Of course, but I man, I I just flew Brazil to Abu Dhabi. Like uh, probably a good payday. You wanted the money. <laughs> yes, everything. F- Fifty days before the fight, mm. and this this fight was so hard to get because he always say no. So we, UFC Hunter, maybe then I don't know, but Hunter, for, for, uh, I, I'm sure he pushed him mm-hmm. against the wall. Say, okay, if you didn't fight Paulo in Abu Dhabi, you fight no no one, nobody anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you're going to stay for until yeah. the next year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they'll hold you if you don't take fights. Because he can come, uh, something like that. Uh, I think he had problems mm-hmm. on document. So he just waited for fight Abu Dhabi. He just gave my name. Okay, if you get, if you go make a change, didn't get this fight against Paul in Abu Dhabi, you not f- you fight nobody. You're gonna replace you. So I flew there 50 days before the fight. I knew already I had this, but uh, I did a procedure in Brazil mm-hmm. that we. So we thought what was solved because I did um, antibiotics mm-hmm. and I, I they collect they, they they put the needle collect uh, the the blood inside and test they say okay stuff not 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 there anymore yeah. so you can flu you can fight no problem but once I get there stuff still stood over there you know so mm-hmm. this coming back 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 and then. Doctors need to open 30 days before the fight. I ask him to continue the fight. But three, uh, after he moved the stitches, this came mm-hmm. again. So I say, oh, my God. It's honestly it's for the best you didn't fight. I, I mean, yeah. uh, we, we make fun yeah, of the guy, sure. but he is, a, he is a tough fighter. You can't deny yes, he's tough. Yes, you know? you we know, we, we yeah, may have bashed him, be. but he, he comes yeah. out hard. Yeah. He might gas himself, but he comes out to try to like kill you that first round. So it's like you got to be ready for a guy like that. Yeah, you tr- you, you, you're right. I, I believe on this. I think... Everything happened for, for, for a reason, you mm-hmm. know? And yeah. as fighters, we never want to pull out fights. I've fought in fights where I should have had someone pull me out. That's sometimes why you need a coach is kind of going to be like, hey, sorry, you're not fighting. Because fighters, we just, we're like so determined to fight sometimes that it's like, ideally, you'll have a coach that'd be like, sorry, man, you can't fight. Exactly. Fights mm-hmm. always will be. Because I can't pull fight. out a fight. Yeah, a couple yeah. of, before, you know, I think I pulled out one because it's too bad. But I probably fought a couple times when I shouldn't have just because I'm too stubborn. Yeah, yeah. You know? But yeah, it is what it is. And uh, I think. This month they're gonna fight again. Uh, Saturday, I think. Uh, Chimaev again. Oh, is he uh, fighting? Wait again. Oh wow, it's a good fight. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, j- let's see. L- let's wait this fight. W- how how this goes? You know, um, maybe I, I. Let's see. Maybe can fight uh, some somebody yeah. that, uh, of them. Um, Whitaker, we, we had a fight. Mm-hmm. Was was a, was a good fight. Whitaker won. Um, I won the fourth, very first round, and he won the second and third. 
by the the Jews. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, but it was a, a pretty nice fight, you know. Um, he's very qualified. Let's see. Let's see how how Gomez Chen gonna gonna act uh, against a, a high caliber fighter uh, as Whitaker. Yeah, Whitaker's tough. He might he might smash him. That'll be interesting yeah. to see because he yeah. hasn't fought in any top yeah. top eighty five pounders. Yeah, I don't know how many rounds. I know this common event, but I don't, I don't mm-hmm. know how many rounds it's gonna be. I think if just three, yeah, this is more equal. Five, I think more with let's see yeah i think he gasses a little bit because Ch- like i said so. chamaya comes out just at a crazy pace but he can't hold that for five rounds no so if he doesn't finish him like in the first round or two i think i think whitaker will will gas him and fade him yeah let's but see. like yeah. i would like to see you and chamaya fight would you like to come back with a really tough fight or more of an easier warm-up fight uh bro i always want to fight the most tough guys mm-hmm. yeah uh but you know but you get paid the same, so sometimes it's. I always wanted the toughest guys too, but sometimes I'm like, wait, you get paid the same to fight the easy guys? Yeah, <laughs> but if I start, I, I just, I just worry if I start to 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 think on their way, if I will be like uh, more lazy. That's true. Sometimes you have an opponent that's not as good, you're not as motivated to train, and then you don't fight good. Yeah, you, you have so a really big name like Chimaya, you'll be so like excited for that fight because yeah. there's the bad blood between it. The yeah. fans will be hyped on that fight. It's so sellable, you know, because you guys have. The life like is too other. short. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. The, the 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 money, but the UFC is paying me much better right now. So I yeah, I, you I have re- renegotiated your good yes, contract. That's good to yes, hear. You, yeah, have. you deserved it. You're a big star. So yeah. So thanks. But yeah, they 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 are take care of me right now. Mm-hmm. So I'm yeah I can't fight anyone. You know. Uh, but I I prefer honestly let this part. For matchups for UFC, what the UFC decide, I mm. I'm I'm good, I agree, you know. So I just text uh, the guys Hunt and Dana right after the fight against uh, Strickland. Mm-hmm. Say, hey guys, I go, I take a break, I will be back. I want to be back at the, at the end of this year. Yeah. But uh, yeah, and they say, yeah, yeah, of course, whatever you 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 be ready, let us know. You be. Uh, a pleasure to make to match up uh, and uh, your next fun fight. Mm-hmm. So uh, I will wait for them. You know, I just focus and do my best. And yeah, so you, all you do is train, have yourself ready, and you, can, you know you got to kind of take whatever the UFC gives you. Which yeah. is, I, I kind of like that. You can't you can't avoid anybody because in boxing, all the top guys are avoiding each other. In the UFC, the top guys have to fight each other. Maybe yes. they'll, maybe they let someone like Connor pick their fight, but they don't let anyone else pick their fights. So you go in there and you fight who they tell you to fight. Yes, and I kind of like true. that. You can't avoid anyone. You have to just be like, these are the toughest matchups. I think that's why it's so popular. The best guys are always fighting each other. The best guys also have losses because the best guys are always fighting each other. In boxing, yeah. they're avoiding each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know. I, 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 I'm, I'm glad for all the fights that I, I made, even the fight that I lost. I mm-hmm. learned. Yeah. Yeah, you, you get your, I, lo- your losses are like really close fights for the best of the best, you know, like Strickland yeah. and Whitaker. Yeah. These like you're like these war really, really Definitely. close with, with the very top Definitely. guys. So you're right there in the, in my opinion, you're like in the top five best in the world right now. Yeah, definitely. This is true. Uh, you know, uh, that fight against Whitaker was he, he was number one contender mm-hmm. at, or number two the contender at the time, and now it's Strickland. Yeah. So I feel like I, I give the pass for these guys, but. Anyway, I'm just learning. Uh, of course, I get mad, I get sad, mm-hmm. I get even a kind of depressed for a week or two. Yeah, it's tough losing a fight. But this is part of the process. I, I need to learn with this, and I'm, I, 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 I'm pretty sure I, I learn. I learn a lot, and uh, I get the experience. I feel right now this is like a, the half, I told you, half, half second part of my career. Mm-hmm. All, all that I made until here, was pretty much to be knowing, uh, to be known uh, as a high, mm-hmm. high uh, ranked fighter, uh, uh, kind of this. But now is is the second part. I think I, need, I, I want I want to take advantage of this. You know, uh, the fight the fight uh, life is uh, uh, is so sh- so no, short. Exactly. And yeah, in your, in your early fights, you were just destroying people. So you weren't learning as much through those. You were going through just like annihilating everyone with not, you know, KOing them. So it wasn't until recently that you started having actually wars. And that's when you really learn, you know, those fights like with Strickland and the best of the best you're fighting. So that's when you really jump your game up. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 
Yeah. And like yeah. you said, you're always trying to learn. You know, you, you come in and take my take classes. Like a lot, yes. of, a lot of guys get stubborn and won't do that. They're like, oh, I'm a top fighter. I'm not going to go and take someone else's class. But but you understand, you can learn from different people. What's amazing? Mm -hmm. The class today was amazing. Uh, uh, if you cannot learn with every, not not I'm not saying you are everyone, but yeah. look. We, I can train. I was talking with uh, mm -hmm. uh, Ben, uh, the Asian guy over there. Yeah. He say, uh, you, you, "Sorry, I cannot train with you because I told my my ACL." Mm -hmm. Say, bro, no problem. I can I can th train with the girl and I learn with mm -hmm. her. I can train with kid. You know, yeah. like a Rick Rickson say that. You know, I, if you you don't need to be a tough guy mm -hmm. every time. You you can learn. You can put you on bad situations. It, it took me a while that. to learn this because I used to always try to look for the toughest guys and just battle every round. But then I started teaching, and that forced me to train with people that weren't as good. So I didn't want to do that, but I think that's actually where my game shot way up. And then I was training out at uh, New York with John Donahue, and he would always be like, he would make the best guys spend like at least half the rounds going with guys that aren't that good. And again, a guy that's not that good for us might be like a normal black belt instead of a world, you know, you got Gordon Ryan, but they're like, he didn't want like me, Gordon, Gary, all these guys training each round with every other. So he would sometimes be like, no, you guys are training too much together. Just take the other guys and play around with your, with your submissions. So I'm like, wow. I did this an accident, but John really like thought that out. He's like very like deliberate and uh, genius. He's, he's a great coach. I'd be a great guy for oh, you to meet. Oh, yeah. So. He's a genius. He's a yeah. genius. Have you ever like met Gordon Ryan and those guys? No, no, yeah. Uh, no, I almost, almost trained. He's, he's with... very helpful too. Oh, a yes. Great, great training partner. Yeah, they are in Texas, right? Yeah, yeah. If you're ever out there, let me know and I'll connect you. Of course, uh, uh, yeah, I want. I, I, I should go there. Uh, I, I know the giant, giant, very young. Uh, oh, the kid. Uh, what is his name? The, he's like 300 pounds, right? Yes. The young guy. I, don't, the guy is, I totally know him. I don't mind having a brain freeze with his name. Yeah. Yeah, he's a prudge, prudge, prudge. Yeah, uh, I hate training with him because he's so oh, big. So, so big, but, but, but look very, very smooth. You know, uh, looks like a flying light. You know, he's not a big heavy mm -hmm. guy that just mash. Yes, he's he's a genius. Yeah, no, that gym is just stacked with like really good guys, like all around your weight. A lot of guys way bigger, but they have like Gordon around your weight. There's there's a bunch of dudes, guy Luke. It's just stacked full of killers. But they're all cool. They're not gonna try to hurt you. Yeah, you know, unless yeah. you go in there being a dick, then they might. But if you yeah, go in there sure. being cool, they're yeah. not gonna like you know like John Jones go in there and to train with Gordon oh, and yeah. stuff like oh, that. Yeah. They're they're very helpful people. Amazing. But yeah. Switch yeah. it up real quick to nice. um. The, the fight scene was this massive in Brazil. I remember I fought Davey and Maya back there. It was just killing it. But I noticed there hasn't been very many UFCs. Is the fight scene still booming down there, or is it falling off? Uh, I really feel this is falling off. You know, uh, I, I, I feel like that old generation was the top of the top. Was yeah, like legendary fighters out of Brazil, you know, the Anderson Silva, Vanderlei Silva, just legend after legend. Tar yeah. I think it's hard to get another gold generation like that. Mm. This is a, this happens once in, in the century, I think. But because but it's comprehensive because the the the, the art is spread out. Mm -hmm. So if you see uh, like uh, in America how many talents we have here right now in the, the Russian, mm -hmm. you know, in the Western world, uh, in Eastern world. So, yes, it, it, it's hard to compete. At that time, we we kind of uh, hold the, mm -hmm. the knowledge. Yeah, because, I mean, there's so much between the Gracies with the Jiu-Jitsu and the, yeah, the, the, the shoe boxing. The, yeah, yeah. the, the striking's really good there. It's like... Because Brazil was known for the jiu-jitsu, but then the strikers started being amazing out of there too. So it's like the Brazilian didn't know if they're gonna be a striker or, or a jiu-jitsu guy. Yeah. So it's but I noticed they're not doing many fights down there, and it was it was great when I was fighting down there. It was like so popular. Like the Brazilians love me. The Brazilian fans have a bad rap, is what's funny, but I think they're great. Because you know they'll, they'll like chant if it's American, you know how they chant, "You will die, you will die." But like they never go in your personal space and disrespect you. That's the difference. They understand the culture there. If you can come with someone's. Di uh, personal space and disrespect them that you're probably gonna fight in Brazil, right? I mean, that's kind of how it is down there. So they, so they'll come when they're in your personal space. They're very respectful. Oh, I like you. This, but they just like chant from a distance. But that freaks some people out. And to me, I had no problem there. Yeah, but but it's different over here. You think the people goes against uh, personally? Yeah, they don't they don't stick up with their country as much as Brazil does. You guys are very honorable with sticking up to your country. America doesn't do that for some reason. Mm. But Brazil, if you're fighting a Brazilian, the whole crowd's going me, against me. you. But they still like me, you know. So they yeah. they chant, "You'll die." But but when they come up to you, they're super oh, respectful. Yeah. Like you oh, know, yeah. I'm like popular down in Brazil. Yeah, but yes, okay. 
<laughs> yeah. the, women, the women can be a little aggressive down there. <laughs> yeah, um, may maybe because you are you're American in Brazil, the people treat you different. In here, you from here. I don't know. You know, I was treated like I said. They might chant you'll die, but I think I was treated great overall. And you know, some people are like mad because I was joking around calling American Jiu Jitsu originally because I mix it with wrestling. Originally, I did it just to piss some people off, so some Brazilians got pissed, but but they respect it now. But this this is. Yeah. Thing, yeah, things are always, I mean, because cause really, Jitsu is from Japan, you know? They took it and changed it up. So I'm like, well, I'm taking it up and changing it up. Things yes. are always evolving. Yes, yes. You know, I, I, I don't see these on bad eyes, I think. You know, everybody's adapting. Mm -hmm. You know, your Jiu Jitsu is your it's different style than, yeah, it's different, different style than Brazilian. Style. So yeah, it's not you can like. You can put uh, your name, you can put America, you can mm -hmm. whatever. But it's I, yours. Yeah, but I've had some Brazilians. <laughs> it was a while ago. I had some Brazilians just get mad about oh, that. Be like, why are you thing? stealing our thing? Like, you stole it from Japan. What are you talking yeah, about? Jiu Jitsu uh, is Japanese. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a, a Sweden guy uh, start to do a capoeira and mm -hmm. say, Sweden capoeira. It's okay. You yeah. know, <laughs> yeah, right. Everything we're always making our own styles and blending and. Yes, uh, I I feel that uh, I I adapt to jiu-jitsu to myself and need to be that. I cannot. You, you, you can show me something, yep. but to have different boys, different. This is very big. As a coach, I'm always very big. We're not going to do things exactly the same. You got to look at your body type, how you're built, how you move. There might be one guy that move very similar to, but someone else would move very different. Some coaches that aren't that good, they try to have you do exactly how they do it, and everything has to be adapted to your body, how the guy moves. There's so many variables in martial arts. That's why it's an art. It's this martial art. You, ha you have to be your own artist. You can't like copy someone else. You know. This is primary. You know, mm -hmm. the, the, I, I I think if the coach doesn't doesn't understand this, it'll be very hard to create a great yep. athlete. Yeah, no, I, I agree. Single one motherfucker different of each other. So you need to let this um, space for creation, adaptation. Mm -hmm. I said it's, it's literally an art form, you know, martial art. It's an expression of your body. So you can't, if you're trying to like clone someone else, it's not going to work. You're not going to be, you can be good, but you're not going to be great. Yes, yes, exactly. Uh, I have a try uh, mimic some, some, uh, legend fighters that i i used to admire mm -hmm. yes but i used more to mimic the mindset mm -hmm. the philosophy behind you know the enthusiasm um the soul you know that they will you cannot mimic too much you no know, buy at the same point if you are lucky you're gonna have a very similar body style or symmetrics or you know mm. whatever but it's so hard it is a good example like look at mike tyson no one's ever mimicked that that style he moved that i've never seen anyone mimic, mimic it properly right exactly it was a cue was destroying people with it but no one's ever mimicked it the way he does it happened to me right now uh in i'm not blaming uh, uh mm. anyone or, or or make excuse but i am a kind of power punch guy yes so you have to use your explosive power. I can never change this. Nope. You're not going to be a pitter-patter fighter. Like, <laughs> if, I was, if I was a boxer trainer, I was trying to train you and Nate Diaz the same, you'd be a retard because he's he's a volume puncher. You're a power puncher. So you're not going to be volume punching like that, and it would be, and you're not going to get Nate power punching. But some trainers don't understand that stuff. you got to go what your body type is, what your explosion is, your reach. your Exactly. So you're a natural power explosion guy, so you got to use that. Then you gotta like you know you you have you have crazy conditioning for a power guy. A lot, a lot of power guys gas themselves with that explosive mu muscle. So yes, and uh, I try modify a little bit, and really doesn't work. Mm -hmm. I I uh, I expend time on this like one on a, one a year and a half doing on different style. Yeah, but everything should be powerful. Man, for you. come on, I cannot do that. No, I agree. I try, doesn't work. My style. Can, can can look even simple, very simple, mm -hmm. or dumb, but this is my style is <laughs> go to take heads off. I need to f try I, because uh, when I I have this mentality is I know I can do this for three, four, maybe fifth round. Mm -hmm. Of course, it will be on different pace. The very yeah. first three. You got to pace it. This is the five rounder slightly different than the three rounds. Nine percent and then seven percent. Mm -hmm. The last two. But okay. But the chance to get the, the, the fight finish in the very, very three rounds is very high. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, I know I can do this. Yeah, as as I mentioned it for for five for five rounds, but on different pace. But, but this is not the problem. I will not get out and be. Ah, yeah. I cannot do anymore. And uh, what I, what I I need to do is in the beginning of the fight until the end. If I didn't finish the fight, no problem. I will I will always chasing and look for a knockout for KO. Mm -hmm. That's that's the mentality. That's how you should fight. I mean, that's how you're knocking that's them out. You're knocking out. And that's how you should continue to fight. I wouldn't I try to change, change it. it. No, exactly. You, you can do things like, oh, maybe work a little more of a jab and small things, but you no, should no, definitely no. not Fuck change it. Yeah. I'm going to do that. No, I agree. <laughs> and when you grapple, you, you should agree? keep you, you, I agree. And when you grapple, you should keep it simple. You don't need a complex grappling game. A couple of blast takedowns. Put out, maybe, grab maybe, the a, power. maybe a guard pass, or you could even pound, ground pound from half guard, a guy like you. Yeah. Or from full, oh, close guard. You don't need to have a complex game. To take you down, get to your feet. We're going to push out, you know, turn, stand up. Ooh, I feel with bubs. Yeah, because well, guys will try. Some guys will try to train you long. Like, oh, have, do a rubber guard. That would be. You don't. You don't Shh, need a. You don't need a close guard game. Well, elbows and 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 the, mm -hmm. that that tight glove. Oh yeah, you don't want to stay in close guard. Maybe a second. You need to have it for a second to like regroup, but you don't want to be hanging down there against the. Those are guys who are big at your weight. Like you said, you fight 185s, but the guys are really coming in weighing 205, 210. You know, jacked, elbowing you in the face if you're on bottom. That position that you show, man, you mm -hmm. got days. Why are you gonna look for choke? Yeah, just, just punch bam, bam, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just punch two, in the face. Two, three, and, and, ref, and the referee are going to stop the fight. Mm -hmm. you know? Especially you're a, you're a power puncher, exactly. So, yes. you, so you just, when you're in those positions, you think, bam, bam, put them we, away. We are shirts off, we are sweating. Mm -hmm. You can try and the guy escape, and then you you, you, you you lost the position, you lost the, the choke, mm -hmm. and you, guess, you, you, you expend a lot of energy. Yeah, that's why <laughs> I like that hook, that leg that we were doing. Just hook it and just punch in the face and finish right there. So... So who's um who's a couple of your favorite Brazilian fighters? Or uh, non-Brazilian fighters all too. Time, but all time, yeah. Of course, I love to watch Anderson. Mm -hmm. But uh, for some reason, I feel very excited to watch uh, Vanderlei Silva in the Pride Days. That was amazing. Yes, I think the whole environment. Mm -hmm. People that, that haven't watched Pride that are UFC fans, I recommend you go back oh, and watch those old Prides. It's just like, watch go them. start with the old ones. It was an epic time period in Japan. Oh, yeah. It was epic. The, 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 that, that woman was screaming on the mic, mm -hmm. you know, everything. Uh, the, whole, the whole thing. Yeah, it was so magic. Unfortunately, I never magic. fought there because they had the... I was in Shudo and Pancreas at the time. They didn't have my weight, and then they moved it. And But I went to a corner of Gil Melendez and stuff out there. It was so oh, cool yeah. being at Pride, watching Fedor there, right? walk out. And Saitama. Yeah, it it was... Uh, I forget what arena, but it was this... It was awesome. I don't think it was the massive one we were at, but it was cool. Some of them had like a hundred thousand people, or they allegedly live at them. And they are, they are su super quiet, right? That part is a little weird. I kind of like the oh, yeah? I kind of like the loud crowd, but you could hear your corner because the the Japanese crowd would just sit there silent. But then after something happens, they'll applause occasionally. Mm -hmm. But they understood the sport really well too. Nice. That was when I first started doing big fights, oh. and it was like it was I wish, it was I so amazing there, going out there. there. Yeah, the, the, at that time. Yeah. Yeah, I was like a broke teenager, and then you know flew out to uh -huh. flew out to Japan. Never been on a plane. Flew out with Nick Diaz. They put us out there. No one spoke English. It was just like cultural shock, but such amazing experience that fighting brings us. You know, right? Oh. Like, like I mean, we come from I don't know where you come from Brazil, but it's you know probably you completely have different. You to 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 live there to 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 live this. Yeah, mm -hmm. I wish. I, I wish. I wish. I was young w watching the dudes and uh i got so adrenaline watching those fights i could not eat mm -hmm. and sleep after that <laughs> yeah. like until six seven <laughs> i remember uh chuck liddell was who got me into fighting so he was like my mentor never my trainer but he was my mentor and i was in japan when he fought uh when he was fighting uh, Vanderlei Silva. Yes. And then it kept cutting he, out. He fought, he fought I, forget where, I forget where he fought him. Might have been the UFC even, but the, but the stream kept, I was trying to watch it, but the stream kept cutting out. And I was like, I was losing my mind. I'm like, no, I have to watch this fight. This is like my mentor and one of my favorite fighters. And it just kept cutting out. I was like so angry. <laughs> oh my. I think they fought like past their primes, but still it was just like, just two legends right there going at it. Yeah, I, I um, he, he fought Vanderlei in UFC as well, right? You think so? Yeah. Weren't you on Vanderlei's team on the Ultimate Fighter? Yes, I was. That must have been pretty cool. Be one with your pretty idols, cool. right? Pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. You're training with one of your idols. It's weird, right? Yeah. I, I've had to like fight some of my idols, like Dan Henderson. That's that's weird, but it's, it's was, a cool thing to have. Bro, was cool. Yeah, he was one of my heroes, and the guy was over there. You know, he he motivated me a lot. Yeah, he great person, great mm -hmm. person. He has a, a good heart. Yeah, he he's very uh, real. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I remember Sonny is a. 
amazing guy as well. A lot of people just like him, but I like him too. Once you get to know him, you realize he's just funny. Bro, no, yeah. Brazilians uh, hated him for a minute, they, but they, he grew on him, yeah. Vanderlei kind of hate him, for real. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, because Sonny was uh, talk bad things about, about Brazil, Brazil yeah. and, and him and against Vanderlei Silva as well. I was super cool, you know. I was yeah. just laugh about everything and mm. and think every everything was very funny. And uh, Chelsea Sonny make the 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 season really mm. uh, works well, you know, uh, because I I thought everything that he he said was funny. I was just enjoy, but Vanderlei not. Mm -hmm. Vanderlei really get really mad about and um, yeah, I think he kind of lose his his mind but it was fun yeah chell went really really hard against brazil but i saw it for the humor but some brazilians ah, didn't. I, I had some, yeah i told my brazilian friends like why are you friends with him now they all love him i think he grew on eventually the, the brazilians all love chell now but but there was a couple years where they did not like him but he was funny I some of the stuff he said was just so ridiculous i remember he brought like toothbrushes down his peace Bro. offerings he's like i didn't know they got all mad like, i didn't know you guys had toothbrushes or, or i didn't know you had the internet here i wanted to <laughs> they, they, they put here uh, 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 Chow Sonny mm -hmm. on a very protected house. Um, yeah, because they, they were scared car. for his safety. Yeah, they are. Uh, they are uh, worried about somebody shooting him. <laughs> you know, uh, I, one one thing I think uh, uh, Chow say about Brazil. He say, "Why uh, when you see a Brazilian boy like eight years old mm -hmm. cry crying?" What do you think should be? Yeah, I don't know what you say. Yeah, uh, he say it's a midlife crisis. <laughs> pretty, pretty fucked up, but funny. <laughs> <laughs> people don't realize that people don't realize Chelsea joke if he says some fucked like, up shit, but it was funny. Yeah, man, I think you know this is a, like a, a dark humor, right? Mm -hmm. But. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> you know, exactly. I can handle dark humor. So I got it was funny, but I know a lot of Brazilian people did not like Chell for a couple of years. But I think they all love him now for the most part. I think they realized like he was just trolling them. And yeah, I love it. I he, love he brought it. a lot of people to watch that uh, that season. Of course. Of co man. Because didn't they get in a fight in the middle of he, that season? He gave I didn't, I didn't watch that episode, but they got in a fight, didn't they? Uh -huh. Didn't they get in a brawl in that episode? I was there. I was there. I, I, would, I would tell mm -hmm. you about that. Remember me to, to Because sometimes I, I, lost, I lost the the the... I would say the briefing that you talk about, yeah. but if I do, if I do that, yeah, I, I do the same me. thing. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we we hit, hit, we get hit. Oh in the my head. god, fighters. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I just forgot. What yeah, the, where were we? Not the Vanderlei fight, but there's something else you need to go back to. Oh yeah, uh, he helps out uh, to, to sell the, the season. Oh yeah, it was great. He gave to Anderson Silva the most, the biggest pay pay paycheck. Mm -hmm. uh, f for the for that two, two uh, twice fight the, the two fight that they made, uh, I remember uh, like uh, uh, Anderson si not not Vanderlei Anderson Silva he gave Anderson Silva the, the biggest two paycheck that I had uh, Anderson had at at the moment like three four times you know bigger mm -hmm. just because he, he bring attention yeah so exactly people understand he's a master on this no that's a that's a good thing that's because chell was an extremely unpopular fighter because of style and stuff yeah and then he started talking crap and he just blew up and he still wasn't even winning a lot of fights he won some but he became extremely popular just off he realized he could just troll and yeah become extremely popular and it worked and this really works of course this is a uh, art of take attention mm -hmm. he, he, right. did, he did a good job he was a really oh, good amazing. sharp uh, talker to me he's a master to do that you know you, you can see clearly uh, Kobe is doing pretty much same, but not near as good though. Charles Chow, is way better at it, in yes. my opinion. Yeah, but because but everybody still has, that, a, has yeah. a different style. That's true. Yeah, but but it but still yeah. gets Kobe a lot of attention he didn't have before. So oh yeah, Sony Charles Sony is very smart, very intelligent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, very good. So real quickly, we'll switch to politics. Uh, yeah, yeah, about the bro. What's that? You want to? You oh yeah, the bro. Yeah, go yeah. Right there. <laughs> before we, there, before we switch there. over to politics and some different shit. Yeah. Okay. But uh, in the day of the brawl, Vanderlei was screaming in the backstage, like, ah, I'm going to fuck this motherfucker. Yeah, he came to my country. He cannot say that bad <laughs> thing things about my country. He was taking personal thing, you know. I said, come on. I, I, I didn't say nothing, but I yeah, was thinking, thinking, come yeah. on, man. You're going to get, you know, extras because of this. Mm. But anyway, uh, maybe because he, Vanderlei was was wasn't uh, even living Brazil. He was living here in Las Vegas, so mm -hmm. maybe he was 
okay, I, I need to give something back. I need to protect my couch. So uh, maybe it's a little overcompensation or something. Yes. Yeah. But anyway, and then uh, Sony, so the, the, the two, uh, Van der Wey and Sony went to wait for, th they were kind of, we are right now, mm. th this distance, and we fight right behind the door, just waiting, the somebody call, and we come and stay beside our coach. And, but they never call us because it's supposed to call in five seconds, but when they start to scream and confrontation, yeah. uh, confront, uh, chow. And uh, I say, okay, this is gonna, this is gonna be very bad when he st start to slap in front of his face. Mm -hmm. And then they start and I run that uh, some people try to push Chell behind, from behind, mm -hmm. what's pretty bad. After that dinner, just took the guys out of the show. Oh, they got kicked out for that? Yeah. yeah they, they, they cost their career, potentially. They might have got a UFC contract and got it dropped over that. I remember, yeah, dinner was pissed off. He said, you, mm -hmm. the guys was fighting and you You shouldn't hit someone in the back like that. I understand Anderson coming out in front up, but hitting someone in the back is pretty cheap when he's coaching and stuff. Yeah. And the guy who uh, was... I think one or two, I don't remember exactly. Yeah, but I, I was worried about Chell, bro, because uh, I know he's talking about Bad to Brazil, but I was kind of, man, the guy's not from here. Mm -hmm. Gonna be very hostile yeah. environment, everybody, you know, uh, I, I feel bad. I, I tried just to support him at mm -hmm. some moment. Yeah, she always got along with him. Yeah. Yeah, and Brazil can be very dangerous in certain parts. I mean. Oh, uh, yeah. It's like oh, yeah. it's no joke down there. You can't mess around. You better no, be, you better yeah. be, you be, you be alert. I think you know places are like that. Some places in America too, but a lot of places in Brazil, you got to really be paying attention. I, I would say Brazil is pretty dangerous than America. Pretty dangerous. You know, yeah, it's definitely overall definitely even, more dangerous. Even a simple phone, you cannot hang with simple phone mm -hmm. every street. I never got robbed, but you over should. there. But you know, uh, it's a third world country. Mm -hmm. It's completely different. The people, especially right now with this government over there, the 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 the, the left uh, the, mm -hmm. the left the left uh, wing uh, took over. They are censorship. They are. They're trying to get rid of Twitter. They right? ban yes. They they shut down the Twitter. They say no free oh, speech. Yeah, of course not. Uh, if you if you get caught caught using VPN. To mm -hmm. you know, to 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 open X, the the X uh, app on your phone, you're gonna be fine on five and th ten thousand dollars. Like yeah. it's pretty much money in Brazil, like fifty, mm -hmm. f f sixty thousand of our money mm -hmm. of currency. So yeah, they bro, they they, they expend a lot. I I just leaving Brazil right now because I cannot. This make me sick. Mm -hmm. Every time that I wake up, I just you know pop up some more bad terrible news, news yeah more taxes jesus yeah more taxes things. really high there yeah pretty high they want to tax everything they want to they they want to put the i would say doctrine our kids they can do whatever they want like a like the gay agenda six stuff. gay agenda yeah. six seven years old kids kids each other men Boys and they're, boys. They're doing that in the U.S. They're doing that in the U.S. Unfortunately, too. Come on. It's yeah. It's sick. It makes no sense. Like, what kind of pervert wants to teach that stuff to children? Yeah. Some sick people. <laughs> and 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 the the Jews of you know the of the highest Jews of Supreme Court they are supporting. So mm -hmm. they do whatever they want. They if they, they let the guy out of prison, the 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 president, right? The current president was he put in prison? They let him out or something? Was it, I don't know. I don't know exactly what happened. But the judge, okay. didn't the judges do something weird with the president? Like let him out of jail when he's supposed to be in jail, and then they like rig the elections or the guy, the guy just stole him, like a, man, a lot of money. I don't know even know how mm -hmm. mu how much, but billions. He just give uh, to big companies that mm -hmm. support them, and yeah. The guy took 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 money from the health from the the schools, and give to to these monopolies, you know, to yeah. to support them in the in the future See, elections, yeah. and to pay, to to bri bribe mm -hmm. the Jews. And that's why these guys doing whatever they want. They can put you in the jail if you mm -hmm. if you just commit bad things about them, 
and yeah. no trials, no judgment. Just go to the judge. Yeah. So and the, ju the judge, has the, the judge has the final say. Yeah. I will not support this dictatorship. You know, I will not. I will not give money for these motherfuckers. You know, I will take everything out. I'm moving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why America cannot fall. No, we're like the we're that, like the last hope. We can't go down. Our constitution. That's has to why stand. Trump needs to win. If he need, if Trump doesn't want, bro, I don't know what they're gonna do. Maybe I go to uh, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, yeah. like po Poland, Poland, where they're still like hardcore. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. come on, because uh, we depend of America, you know, the whole Latin America, Brazil, Max, every everyone here. Uh, I mean, the the West world depends of America. You know, America is the last strong mm -hmm. hold point. If this fall, bro, I I don't know. Yeah. Would you like to become an American citizen at some point? Yes, yes. I'm an immigrant, you know. Yeah, but yeah you'd be very proud, proud patriot. See, you're already so much pro-American. It's like, oh, we, yeah. we, we, we would love to have you. We need people like you. Yes, you know, uh, I, I would love to, to, to have the American citizen. Mm -hmm. Um Instead, we're, le we're letting Mexicans just walk across the border. They yeah. don't add anything. <laughs> and guys like you that are patriots, they won't let come yeah. in. <laughs> I don't need to cross the border yeah. with Coyote anymore, you know, pay the guy. <laughs> yeah, the, what <laughs> do they call it? the coyotes, I think, <laughs> smuggle through. <laughs> Pass like three, yeah. three days in the desert just walking to get, the, to get <laughs> here. But, uh, yes, uh, I, I'm just worried about, yeah, I think Trump going to win if, it, if he they didn't kill him before. Mm -hmm. I just hope. God save him and keep, but we need. I think you guys need to have a plan for after Trump as well because he's old, pretty old. Yeah, and it's yeah. There's there's a lot of problems in our government. It's so corrupt, like yours. It's it's coming down the same way. We have the Constitution is the one thing in the way because we can keep our guns and First Amendment, but they're definitely after it. Yeah, no, have a guns and have a free speech makes it, it makes it harder to control us. Is the basement for mm -hmm. ev everything else. Yeah, right? yeah, we're so fortunate to have the Constitution that no, that no other countries really have. But they're trying to eat it away slowly. Yeah. So pretty much every Brazilian friend of mine thinks but the election was yeah, rigged in Brazil. But that's why I, I walk with this. This is my yeah. passport because I'm not sitting, you mm -hmm. know. So I have my, this is my real kit, kit mm -hmm. uh, that I walk, uh, I, I walk through. Yeah, because I don't have uh, the, the ID. So I have mm -hmm. this. Uh, this is very important too. Yeah, in case you get a fight. If I have mm. to fight somebody else in the streets, on the hotel, the casinos, I have this model guard. And uh, yeah, of course, a uh, condo. <laughs> yes, if I, some some nice, nice and beautiful nice ladies. fan. Yeah, we never know. So yeah, so any ladies see him, go ahead and approach him. He has condoms. Yeah, <laughs> you need to be prepared. <laughs> Gotta be prepared at all times. Is, it's good, uh, good, you're most, safe. The most important. It's yeah, very, very responsible, safe. man. <laughs> 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 yeah, the Brazilian women can be a little aggressive, I remember. <laughs> I remember someone grabbed me. I'm like, especially once I was fighting in the big fights and like my face is on the posters. I'm like, wait, this is the way. I don't know because I was American or. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, but I, I'm I'm coming to to, to live. Uh, I appreciate all the support. You know, uh, as I, I mentioned it before, I, I'm Brazilian, so mm -hmm. I think I have a special treatment from mm -hmm. America. Yeah, you know, Americans, the, you're, you're really popular in America for being a non-American fighter. So like, I think you're just, you're likable, you're funny, you're great, exciting fighters. I know like yeah. Americans love you. Are, you. are you super popular in Brazil or do you get hate down there? Uh, that, that's why, because no, I would say Brazil is divide 50-50, but it's not. Yeah. We're much more uh, conservative. Like, mm -hmm. like I say, uh, Trump, Trump is the conservative Republican. And, and li yeah, he's Republican and then Democrat is the... We're much more Republican in Brazil. Mm -hmm. Like uh, I would say, seventy-five, twenty-five, mm -hmm. twenty-five for the dem democracy. But they took o they took over by power. You know, they they mm -hmm. they 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 bribe the 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 Jews. Yeah. So and they control the media. Media. Mm -hmm. You know. Uh, you know. You know who is the biggest uh, uh, news gen uh, in Brazil? Is CNN. CNN, it's the same it's stuff that here, bullshit. Yeah, yeah it's just fake know? controlled news. So I in Brazil, is a is a poor country. Mm -hmm. So the very poor guys get informed by TV. CNN, they don't have uh, access yeah. to a phone. Yeah, the dumb people watch that and they get programmed with the. What they that's, say, that's why they shut down Twitter. They, they trust. Mm -hmm. So they they try to regulate, and even then, in the elections, the, the guy has a uh, electronic 
electronic uh, box to vote. Mm -hmm. And th they don't give you any certification that you vote went to that guy. No way to check it. So they go to, to a, a, a place like this and they can change everything they want. So come on. Yeah, I know a lot of Brazilian people from fighting and every single one of them thinks the election was rigged. Every single one. And there's the biggest protest I've ever because seen down there. I've never seen obvious. protests so big down there. There were what, millions obvious. of people were on the streets protesting. I don't know. Like, have you ever seen protests that big? It, look, from TV, it looked like they were just insane. There's people yeah. everywhere on the streets. It was yeah. like, yeah, it's just so, it looks so obviously rigged. And every single person over in Brazil, like, it was definitely rigged. And it's just like, what, what do you do? It's terrible. The people did once uh, in, in January, January, right after we got stolen in the elections, mm -hmm. people went to, it's a kind of capital of Brazil, it's Brazilian, uh, it's kind of capital, you know, yeah. uh, where the, the people, uh, the go government uh, sit down. They went there, but they put everybody in the jaw. You know, mm -hmm. even old woman, like 80, 80 years old, sev 75 years old, they put everybody in the jaw. The jaws, and they charge they, they charge them for 15 years in, in the prison. I mean, crazy. Crazy, yeah. What do you think of the, um, the last president? What's his name? Bol uh, Jair Bolsonaro. Yeah. <sighs> he was in the way. He did a lot, bro, you know, even the pandemic, because he mm -hmm. was during the pandemic. Uh, he gave a lot of support for the poor families because they forced him to break down and to, vac to vaccine people. Mm -hmm. But he refused to, he say, I will not ob obligate anyone who wants yeah. to get vac vax, go and get, who doesn't want, I will not force anyone. I didn't get, mm -hmm. I, I never get a vex. Yeah, that, that's a great story. I to bring never, to. <laughs> I <laughs> never get the shit vex. I will never get that. Yeah, you, some, nor, no, some nurse was trying to force it to give you and you upload it on the face, oh, correct? Yeah. She, she deserved it. <laughs> With the, the way, no. I, yeah, well, I, bro, this is a funny story, yeah. But no, I, did, I didn't elbow her, of course. I... She would have been hurt, obviously, if you elbowed her. Obviously, it was an exaggeration, but that's what she claims. Yeah, yeah. He, if you elbowed her, she would have been knocked out <laughs> on the ground. She said, she say, Paulo, you, you need to vax. I say, come on, I would never do that. He said, come back here. I need to vax you. I say, get the fuck out of my arm. And she said, she, he will elbow. Yeah, um, fuck, fuck her trying to force yeah. that poison vaccine down you. Come on. Yeah, right? They tried no. forcing you to take it. I was Never. like, get the fuck off me, too. That shit was poison. <laughs> Look at all the people that are injured from it now. I don't know. I know so many people that are, have health issues from the vaccine. They were, like, calling me stupid for not getting it. Now they're like, damn, you were right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I got uh, the, I, I, I think this is a flu. I got, I, got, yeah. I got that flu, like, three times, and I'm okay, you yeah, know? We're healthy people. It's not going to do anything to us. COVID's yes. not going to affect us. Bro. I, I don't know. I, I, I just can speculate. I have no information, uh, you know, si si scientific information about that. But I, I'm just seeing, like, uh, we lo I lost a friend. Me and uh, Eric Abaha seen a friend. He just died, like, 30, 31 years old. Mm. He's a uh, unbelievable shape. Never took steroids. He, he, he competes for America for Olympics, mm -hmm. wrestling. Wow. He had a heart attack. I say, come on. He's how? I ask Eric, do you know if he took the vax? He say, probably had. I don't know. But, we, you know, whatever. I prefer never put, you know, in risk. No, they shouldn't force us to take anything. I did. They were trying to force me to take it. That's when I was like, fuck you. You're not going to force me to take this. You know, they, it was never mandatory in the U.S., but the city I was living in, San Francisco, was mandatory there. To, you couldn't go in any businesses or stores. And I'm just like, go fuck yourselves. No. And try to, you know, tell you put a mask on your face. I'm like, I'm not doing that either. Yeah, you people, know, people just complied. It's a bull, completely bullshit. This mask, this don't don't, mm -hmm. don't pre preserve you for for nothing. You know, S some some people wear this, <laughs> wear this. Come on. No, the most retarded thing. That's when I realized that most humans are just complete morons during COVID. Like, yeah, people really just can't think. They would, they would put the mask on in the U.S. You'd have to put the mask on when you walked into a restaurant, but you could take it down and sit down. So it's like what COVID doesn't like, it d doesn't pass when you're sitting. It made no sense. I think this was a. Uh, 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 say experience. They, they, they just try see how the people is obey obey the orders. I agree. I think it was a test to see how far they could push us. Yeah. How far they could lock us down. What they could push us on. Because in San Francisco, they tried doing like curfews and saying we couldn't leave the city and come back in. But we just didn't. People didn't follow that. But they did close the beaches. They closed the parks. They closed the hiking trails. People went along with that. 
Yeah, I think what you're doing here on this podcast, on your social media, is very important. It, mm. it, it's, a, it's a community serv service for everyone because many people, I just realized this, many people is so weak. Mm -hmm. I have seen people drive, like a Uber driving or a taxi driving alone inside the car with the full windows closed in a mask. I say, man, this makes no sense. No. These people are so mentally weak. No, I agree. And that's actually why I started using Twitter during COVID. I was bored and I'm like, this is ridiculous. I have to speak up. I know how to use Twitter, but I'm like, I got to start. You know, people got so mad at me at first, but I'm like, I, I got to make a difference because this is just so retarded. And the more people that speak up, it gives other people courage and or they see like, oh, maybe I am being an idiot. Yes. Uh, I love, I love you, Twitter. Thank I, you. Thank I, you. Yes. I. Sometimes we interact. Uh, I think that's where we met. We were like making fun of each other, talking shit. And I'm like, is this guy talking shit to me or is he cool? And then we were then, and then we were like, about me? yeah, yeah we, were like, we were talking shit to each other on Twitter because you, you fuck with everyone. But I'm like, is he, t is he like trying to fight me or is he fucking around? And then I'm like, oh, he's just always, fucking around. No, so then we ended up going around. training. Always, yeah. always, yes. Don't think, don't think my. No, my no, I didn't. That's so I'm like, I think he's just fucking around. And then we ended up like DMing. That's when we went and worked out. And <laughs> but no, yeah. your Twitter's hilarious. Everyone should definitely follow you if they're not. Thank so. you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, follow me there, Bo Bohashi MMA. Yes, we appreciate. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I the f the so many things going going on in the world right now that I I, I can't believe. You know, uh, so where I, I think we we close to 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 the end of <laughs> it's, apocalypse. It, it's a scary time. I think if we don't <laughs> change things, it could be. That's why I'm like, we need to wake people before it's too late. Like things could go really bad really quick if we're not careful. Because the amount of control they're taking, it's like there's a, there's a point where you can't take it back. I feel that. I feel we we are mm -hmm. in the edge. You we know? know we're on the edge, but I think there's still a chance. Otherwise, we wouldn't be speaking up. Because oh, I'm, I'm one of the first ones putting camps if it if it does go. But I would rather die with dignity than be you know. Oh yes, oh, live yes. as a slave. I think I think that pretty much. Yeah, we, we always have a opportunity to to change. But even if you cannot get su success on that, at least we try. We mm -hmm. did our best. Right. Yeah. yeah, you can't not try. You can't just live as a coward like some of these guys. Exactly. They just put their head down and they're like, "Well, I don't want the drama. If, if stuff gets too crazy, I don't want to get fired. I don't want this. I don't want you know." Oh, you say everything that I would say. Mm -hmm. You cannot just give up because you believe you cannot win. Exactly. You have to fight anyways, and I, I agree. We are on the edge, <laughs> and the thing, things could go really bad. I definitely have plans. Like I might need to flee America, but then it's like, where to go if America falls? Yeah. Let's hope. Let's but no, I think everyone needs like backup plans. Like, what country can I get to if it gets too weird? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I have been, I have, have you been in Abu Dhabi or Dubai? That those are, I know friends are trying to get um, Bro, citizenship over there right now. The bullshit woke culture will never get there. Mm. Where uh, for for a while the the, the kings is is mm -hmm. ruling that. Yeah, at least for a long time. It'll be a couple generations if it does. Yeah, God bless Abdullah and uh, the, the the sheikhs there over there. Yeah. Yeah, and fighting's booming over there now too, which is awesome. Yeah. I need to go back there I, soon. I wish Allah gives the long life to keep you know, keeping that that place, avoid avoiding this bullshit stuff, you know. Um yeah, e even I, I don't I don't know uh much about geopolitics. I'm trying mm. It's so complicated. My life is so hard. Yeah. I have so many things, you know. To, I'm There's a, only so much stuff you can follow. Fight. Yeah, yeah. So I don't have a time mm -hmm. enough. The, the mm -hmm. reality is this: I don't have time enough to study all yeah. these things. Has a Bitcoin, has a cryptocurrency. Mm -hmm. I believe on this. I think this can be the salvation, you know, for cut out for, the bankers for the land. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. They hold the war, right? The bankers mm -hmm. and uh, exactly. all the, the people behind. The, the, those people behind the bankers. Yeah, the dark I'm not, I'm people. Not, I'm not, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not supposed to say who they are anymore. In the shadows. Yeah, you know, the, the, the people in the shadows who yeah. hold the world. Uh, yeah, I, I think that they, they are forcing to break this currency. Dollar is so strong. It's, it's not easy to, to break because everybody, China holds a lot of dollars. Every mm -hmm. country holds a lot of dollars. That's why even printing, print money. It makes it worth less. Make, make little less, yes, but uh, even because 
How many money Biden, Joe Biden just printed the, this girl? I think that's literally trillions crazy. of dollars. And then we just give it away to Israel and Ukraine. And if the dollar aliens. was not so strong, this already mm. has broken, you know? Uh, it is declining. Things are costing way more in the U.S. If you look oh, yeah. up, prices are oh, up yeah. like 30%. Middle class families are having a hard time buying groceries and stuff here now. No, definitely. Definitely. I, I have been in, in America since like five years. You, you know, see, yes, you've me. seen the price spikes, right? So, yeah, but, he, but if you look for the amount of money they print, Mm -hmm. And how bad the things get, even we are good because they mm -hmm. pay too much. I think they, they try to, to really broken the the, the, the the dollar, the, the currency, uh, the legacy right now. So that's why I, I believe in Bitcoin. I have some, I hold, I hold and Giga Chat as well. Yeah, I this one that, that I told one? you. Oh, yeah, I'll look that up. Yeah, and uh, so, uh, but yeah. I don't think this th we need to change right now. No, I mean, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> I we're yeah. we're going to wrap up in a second, but I want to switch back one question on fighting I forgot to ask okay. you that, that was interesting. Not exactly fighting, but you were drug tested how many times? Oh, man. By, by Uzada. Hego Hego well, yeah, Hego you, a lot of people probably don't know you shot it. Why don't you walk, why don't you walk them through how this process works, how terrible it is? Pretty much than than 100. 100? Yeah. 100. Yeah, and they come at like, what, 5, 6 in the morning. They knock they, on your door. Oh man, they come. They they came, they came uh, for a week, three days, three days in the same week, mm -hmm. day after day. A four, they 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 come before the five, you know, like four, five, five. They wait until five. When when the time uh, hit the five a.m., they they knock the door. They say this is not true. Come on. And yeah, so they uh, they just uh, uh, blow up my my my, my weak brain. You know, yeah, you can't sleep. You know, you like, personally, I can't go back to sleep after someone wakes me up. And they want to sit around your house, yeah. wait for you to piss. They want to look at your dick. Maybe the dude was a fag and liked you, <laughs> kept coming back. And the high point mm -hmm. was was when I uh, was cut away, dehydrate. You can't pee. And <laughs> the guy, the woman come. Okay, we have to take you. Mm -hmm. You blew. That was. <laughs> <laughs> like right. a drain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I've had them try to get me to piss when I'm. They think that's like you're cheating because you can't piss because you're hydrated. It's like I'm hydrated. I'm not gonna be able to piss for hours and like won't oh leave. My. It's the, the most obnoxious people ever. Your sodas. They are kind of nuts. I don't know. I think okay, we need to get caught this guy cheating mm -hmm. us. But thanks God, this other leave. Now much better. They're much better now, yeah. Because now much a hundred times ridiculous. It's like I mean, it's like we passed a hundred tests. Like, why are you gonna keep testing you? It's just like, come no, on, that, that's harassment at that point. Yeah, no man, I I hate them. Yeah, getting woken up at five in the morning for a hundred times, I'd be furious, and it affects your training. You're in these big fights, you can't sleep. Not sleeping good affects my training. I need to eat more. So it's like, yeah, it, it's to uh, try, get mm -hmm. for sleep, you know. Shh. Oh yeah. Go. Let me see uh, before we wrap up. Any oh, good, yeah. uh, if there's any good audience questions, sometimes they're mm -hmm. terrible, sometimes there's some good ones. <laughs> Let's see. This button mm -hmm. not it. What happened to the nurse? We already covered that. Yeah, I just well with her. What do you think about the Holocaust? Not going to ask you that one. Huh? <laughs> ask about the Holocaust. We'll skip that question probably. <laughs> Fuck, Mary, kill. Amanda Nunes, Chris Cyborg, Mackenzie Dern. <laughs> Chris Borg, <laughs> I'm I'm a this kind of man. I Trigger. want I want challenges. Yeah. No, you're, supposed no, to, you're, supposed to, you're supposed to you're supposed to fuck one of them, kill one of them, oh, and marry, okay, and marry okay, one okay, of them. Okay, okay, okay. It's like a game in the U.S. You have to fuck one of them, kill one of them, marry one of them. It, Amanda Nunes, Chris Cyborg, and Mackenzie Dern. I need to kill one. Yeah, if they're your friends, you don't have to ask or answer if it's too obvious. Because sometimes we know these people personally, and it's like know, not a good I, idea. I know Mackenzie. Mackenzie is dating. One. So we'll skip this. Yeah, you know yeah. these people personally. Yeah, yeah, you can't ask these questions. You know these people personally. Okay. When is he going to release the juice, the secret juice? You got to yeah, start bro, selling that. Sorry, I need to say that we we are missing these. We are in fault with you guys. Yes, uh, next year, next year should be the year. I I need help. You know. Uh, it's not easy make secret juice by myself for everyone. So I need to put a company on this, you know. I need to somebody help me to disclose this, you know, make the, the production happen. Yeah, uh, somebody is talking with some company already. Uh, I just hope the next 
Two more. And the, you can't, they might sell the secret, Chef. Be careful who you give it to. <laughs> you can't give the recipe to too many people. <laughs> So yeah, anything else you want to add or where people can find you before we wrap up? Oh no, up? I just want to say thank you very much yeah. for inviting me. You are a very good friend. You can, yeah. uh, you know, uh, and anything you need or just let me know. Yeah, appreciate and I, it. I'm over here next next year. I hope uh, under Trump um, yes. administration, Trump events, and uh, yes, I just want to to hold my 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 Glocks or Beretta or whatever, you mm -hmm. know. And get my my guns, my freedom back, and yes, that's it. And follow my my next fight. Su supposed to I gonna ask for a fight in January. I think gonna be a nice time. I'm two twelve right now. Look this on how big this is right now. I need to cut some weight. So I I think November December will be a nice time to train camp and fight in January. Perfect. And yeah, we can buy all the guns here. You can get like ARs and all that here in Nevada. So, oh. so it's going to be great when you come up. So, hey, thanks a lot. Thank you, man. Thank you. Appreciate it.